And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Is It Drakes to start the day off with today. It is Tuesday Brews Day, as you see up the top, where I usually build around um, rares and mythics that don't see any play. We're going to have that in a little bit. Like, we're going to play Azorius Circle built around Verity Circle. But first, we have a cool looking donation deck. We got a throwback, and today is kind of a throwback day. You can see a couple of the other decks that I'm playing for Tuesday Brews Day. We're, we're playing a Feather deck again. I haven't seen Feather at all since rotation and i haven't seen amass at all so we're going widespread brutality and grixis amass so we're going to be kind of going some throwback type stuff today first up is a drakes there's not many drakes left in standard uh, we got crackling drake we got terramander the salamander drake those are our, our two drakes here for is it um no more uh, no more enigma drake so that card has gotten replaced by the royal scions now which is a pretty good card, I'd have to say. Um, so yeah, basically we just got good red interaction, some blue card selection with Opt and Royal Scions, and some counter magic with Sabotage and a Gate. Ether Gust is just a really good interactive spell these days as well. Um, and then we're going to be trying to win through the air with our Terramander, Crackling Drake, um, and even our Honorary Drake with Kefnet, the zombie god um you know kefnet just works really well with all these spells and everything because of course with a crackling drake deck we want a lot of spells um our other our go way over the top card is explosion that if we have a whole lot of mana we can cast a very large explosion but then it's also a card that we can just use for expansion early on if it wasn't for that expansion explosion we would have all 75 card styles here that would be exciting uh, just more interaction in the sideboard, a couple of Narsets, um, if we want to kind of go a little bit more controlly, including and a Chandra and a Mass Manipulation for some go-over-the-top cards in the sideboard also. Um, Oko's going to be a problem. It's just how it is. We got some Negates and some Mystical Disputes to try to counter it. <laughs> Oko has too much loyalty for Fry, because uh, it's a reasonable magic card. But yeah, Oko turning these things into Elks will be a problem. Hopefully we can try to avoid that with all the Aether Gusts and Counter Magic and so on. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to it. Is it Drake's? With our, dona with our donation decks and even the Tuesday Brews Day decks, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing them through a league, see if we can get to five wins before um, two losses, see whichever one happens first. Um, so there we go. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. Good afternoon. So yeah, we need to get started right away. So we got four fun decks to play today. I want to hopefully have time. I know this is a slow format. I want to have time to try to get to all of them today. So here we go. All right. Very reasonable hand. I hope they don't just play like a 3-3 three, three creature on turn 3, because I'd have no answer to that. <laughs> it wouldn't get flame sweeped, it'd be before my Sinister Sabotage. So I'm leading with the mountain here, because if I lead with the island, it kind of represents more counter magic than, leaving, than leading with the island. Oh no, they played a 3-3 three, three creature. Oh no, that creature is so big. It's even bigger, it's a 3-4. Alright, so I'll have Kefnet. Ooh. Maybe I should coil this right now while we can. I was already, like, I already played that in the process of playing the Kefnet. I probably should just coil this while we can right now. No, that doesn't use my mana very well. Hopefully they play a Sorin. We can just negate it. Um, maximize velocity. Is that that's the one that gives haste? Mm. 
yeah, it gives the creature plus one, plus one in, in haste. Um, no, nah, we don't really need to put Kefnet back. We got the other Kefnet. Huh. That card's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. I'm not really killing anything. So, I did. I don't know, the maximized velocity is pretty narrow, basically. Do not fear the unknown. But there are scenarios where, where it could definitely help you kill. Like, I can't, I can't deny that there's a scenario where it can help you kill. Oko, but... It's not really... A, it's a very weak individual, individual card. It's not really something I want to play. No, no real good options here. Oketra. Oketra is great against red removal. It's just, it's just, it just is. This card's just amazing against red removal. My best option was not playing the Kefnet and holding up Sabotage. I didn't really expect this kind of deck to go real big with Oketra and Kenrith. Like these mythics here. Usually, like these, whenever I've, I've played against these kind of bloodthirsty aerialist decks before, I haven't ever seen any any Oketras or Kenriths. <laughs> and of course, the I've, I had Negate up for so many turns and it just never did anything, so I get rid of Negate. I think I have and then my opponent immediately has Soren. All right. Well, this is why this is why best two out of three is good because they are completely steamrolling us this game. But it's just one win. I need a hand, Will. My thoughts were too frozen to win. Gosh, I have nothing. I could try like blocking and then flame sweeping. I mean, they just bring stuff back with Soren. Like I have to attack Soren, but I obviously can't attack Soren because these things kill me. I'm just dead. All right, so we don't need the ether gust. I do want this mass manipulation. Let's get these fries in here. Even though Fry doesn't even kill Oketra. Hmm. Oketra's going to be tough. But Kefnet can help out. You know, like we can like reveal like one of these things, like reveal a Fry or a Lava Coil, and then be able to recast it or maybe expansion and copy. We got a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. Hey, what's up, Twitch? No, no Gideon's Company. I, I made a deck around Verity Circle. It was like the new deck, but then 
went with kind of like a throwback theme to Brews Day today with going widespread brutality in a mass and feather and Boros feather. Hey, Freddy Joker. Hmm. I have to pair this up. Hey, Potest. Yeah, our devastation would have been awesome to have for sure. Red's missing a good sweeper like that. <laughs> Jason Pajamas. Thanks, Pajamas, for the sub there. Resubbing. I appreciate that. That's our second sub of the day. Our flame sweep doesn't do damage to our creatures with flying, so flame sweep is not going to kill my Terramander. I don't need to worry about playing out Terramander first. doesn't hurt. I don't think I really need to, to discard anything right now. I guess draw discard does help out Terramander. But like there's there's like scenarios where I want all of these cards, depending on what my opponent plays. There's the scenario for Lava Coil. Let me synthesize the facts. I could have shocked the 4 4 and played Flame Sweep and. Killed the vampire of the dire moon, also, but you know, it's just a two for two. Oh, back to training. I... So I'm gonna I'm gonna be using Fry to do five damage to the Soren and then attack attack it with the Terramander for the extra point of damage. I think I want to use the Flame Sweep now though, so that I can do that and still have the Sabotage available, just mana wise. That's why. That's why I didn't counter the Soren because we could just use the Fry to kill it. There's nothing for it to bring back. It's just not a very scary card. I'm Soren Markov, Lord of Innistrad. You belong to me. Not quit. 
So do I get greedy and play the Kefnet and hope they don't top deck like Oketra? Like if I play Kefnet but then they top deck Oketra, we could be in a lot of trouble. Or I just sit back and wait until I draw, like, you know, be able to have Sabotage and Negate and just wait a long time. I'm gonna get greedy. Yay! Awesome. We have a, th a three turn clock, of course, because of these lifelinkers. Gideon doesn't really do that much, but, you know, we have. It's two, it's only two more turns, so they get one more draw step, so I still have sabotage for the other draw step. So it just doesn't really matter. So I don't think they're going to draw something that we can't just sabotage. I just like revealing cards, it's fun. It's more fun to reveal stuff. Like there no, there's no benefit to revealing anything. But it's more fun than not revealing. It's like 99% of the draw steps that I take, I don't get to reveal them. So it's something different. Lots of planeswalkers. Alright, so multiple Sorens. And a Gideon. Hmm. It's possible I'm not not really supposed to be playing Flame Sweep. Be like Big Chandra, Negate instead. I'm not sure. Alright, let's get these Drakes out here. We got a handful of Drakes. I don't think there's really a reason to hold on to the shock and try to like respond and get him because if they have any kind of instant life gain, I could get really punished. All right, we got enough drakes for now. What kind of deck are we using right now? We're playing, is it drakes? That first deck. Right there. Ah, the Scoured Barons. It's a good one. No, Kef adventure cards don't work with Kefnet. Adventure cards are creatures. Oh, this is tough. All right, that worked out. Hmm. 
I don't think that's a good attack for our opponent. They, 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 they could have just sent just like the spawn of mayhem. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. All right, the Drakes are doing it. Now we suddenly have a bunch of five fives. <laughs> Everything coming up, Millhouse. You're one and zero with Isa Drakes. I do like how fast. For like a controllish type deck, I definitely like how fast uh, Drakes can finish the games. Hey, Noxious Girl, watching on your lunch. Awesome. You're at Silver Rank 1 now. Definitely grown a lot with MTG, thanks to you. Aw, oh, thanks, Noxious Girl. But good job. Good job, Silver Rank 1. That's awesome. And I hope you're having a wonderful lunch break. And you're going to kick butt for the second part of work today. Alright, let's see if we get these land drops to get to Crackling Drake. That's not good. Dos lands, please. That's por favor. I don't know how you say lands in Spanish. Does real estate. Yay. Tierra? Isn't that something you put on your head if you're like a princess? Hmm. They're not playing. Yay. I was going to say, they, they weren't playing anything for me to sabotage. Oh, it's Terra. <laughs> Terra. Okay. What's the worst can happen if we just crack Lane Drake here? So they went Shock, Shock. It's like Bant Flash. Yeah, I guess Oko. Yeah, Oko would be like the worst that could happen for sure. If I tap out. Yay. Still hitting these land drops. Alright, I keep on. I should keep on dropping this uh, tie bar that I just had in my hand. I should put it. So fidgeting with that. Should I just put it away. The Royal Skyons. Knowledge is the greatest virtue. With the courage to apply it. Hmm. What is my strategy here? They go night pack ambusher. Like, is this just Bant Flash? What's going on here? Brazen Borrower. Bounce. Okay. Tiara. No, I, was, I was still mispronouncing it. It's Tiara is the land. I think this is just Bant Flash. Yep, sure looks like it. I 
appreciate clean victories. And a bit of style doesn't hurt. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. The problem is I have to discard one of these. I kind of like this flame sweep. But I guess it's the worst card in my hand, though. Plan is crystallizing. Well, the onus is not on me anymore to do anything. We have this Royal Scions that's out here. There's just an Ugin in this flash deck. That card's so good. So I assume Ugin's going to kill Crackling Drake, since they didn't kill Royal Scions last turn. Keep Royal Scions from ultimating, but now Ugin's down to two loyalty, so we can shock Ugin. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Well, it doesn't seem like they have counter magic. I gave them chances to use other counter spells before my shock. And they scryed both to the bottom. Alright, tapped out. I will seek other ally. <laughs> yeah, we got some Izzard Drakes. Cry both to the top. Oh, they only kept one blue source open, though. That wasn't a great auto tab. I can no longer stand by and watch. All right, well, we'll be able to redraw a card. I have a plan. No big deal. Pretty good. Um, mm, a 
quest of mystery. Hmm. Like that's going there. It's only a matter of time. So I could flame sweep and kill both of these. They get this card. And then I could play Crackling Drake, but then my shields are down again. And they liked that other card. They kept it on top. Oh, well. I'll let them have it. I have shields down. We'll let them have it. I was like, what's the worst they can do? Concede? Alright, that's not so bad. This is kind of tough to deal with. Like, either Gus is good against Frilled Mystic and Nightpack Ambusher, but those look to be the only green cards that they're playing. And then, you know, Fry doesn't kill Nightpack Ambusher or Ugin, but deals with Teferi. The classic conundrum of playing... Interaction. <laughs> I'm going to take out Flame Sweep. So let's bring in the Chandra. I'm thinking about taking out Kefnet. Kefnet's very, very bad against Teferi. And it's also just a huge sorcery speed thing that we already got the Crackling Drakes. So I don't know if we want to be that sorcery speed. Um, one gust, I guess. Or one coil. Yeah, Niv is peak, is it? So maybe I should have a Niv in here. Because, yeah, y'all are right. A dragon is basically a big drake. At least our Terramander traded with a very valuable card. I'm definitely glad no Teferi. I couldn't really stop a turn 3 Teferi anyway, though. Not really expecting my opponent to do anything here. Next turn, I'll have Terry with Sabotage.
I wanted to keep Coil because I wanted to have something for Ambusher. This has gone pretty well for me. Yeah, you can, to find old decks, you can find them either there on the Stream Decker page or over on YouTube. There's, YouTube like, um, always has the link to the decks in the description of the video. Oh yeah, 17 turns, we got this. You're building an EDH deck with Niv Mizzet plus Curiosity combo. That seems pretty sweet. Yeah, Niv Mizzet's a good com like EDH commander. Uncounterable. It's a good one. Ooh, playing in Brawl with Magic Mirror. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be ridiculous with Magic Mirror. All right, do they got Ugin again? No Ugin. All right, no Ugin. And we're down to 14 turns. Good. No no ambusher. They didn't put a land into play, though. I, I wish they would have put a land into play, because, you know, them having more lands is good for me. That's good. So all three of those cards should be spells in their hand right now. Sister by my side, I do not fear the unknown. Let me synthesize the facts. Should be like 
Brazen Bouncer. <laughs> yeah, we got Is it Drake's Boros Feather, Grixis Amass. Feather was in War of the Spark, right? I know the Amass stuff was War of the Spark. We're going War of the Spark throwback. Set me free. Cool, we got, I guess, Guilds of Ravnica throwback. Ravnica Allegiance. Yeah, so Ravnica Allegiance is probably when this kind of became more of a deck. All right, so now that we have Sabotage, I'll just hold up like the Shock for the Borrower and plus Sabotage. Hey, Warheart. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. War. Heart. I mean, this is looking great for us. Be surprised if the three cards my opponent has can beat the four that I have in hand, plus these crack these sorry, these terramanders in play. Yeah, so I, I waited on the shock because basically I could have shocked at the end of my turn and it's not likely that my opponent counters it then. But my opponent had like three extra mana. I think only one of it was blue. Yeah, so they still could counter, but they had three extra mana that they weren't going to use. But if I wait... Um, so, you know, like they could have like used that extra mana. So by... Waiting to their upkeep, if they wanted to counter or if they wanted to interact, they would have to use mana for the next turn so that they so that then they would have less mana. Um, so that they would they would have less mana um, if they would choose to interact on their turn. All right, so I can cast Opt and then uh, adapt both of these and attack for 10. And that taps me out. So I have two 5-5s. Five five or I could cast Opt and cast Crackling Drake. I mean, I don't even have to cast Opt. I could just cast the Crackling Drake. It's like good to get cards out of my hand while we know they can't counter them. But then I guess they could theoretically be playing a sweeper though also. Sure, I just want this land. <clears throat> All right. We'll get the Crackling Drake out of our hand while we know they can't counter it. You would just attack for 10. What do you think of Ionize replacing Sinister Sabotage in this deck? I generally like Surveil 1 more than 2 damage. Whenever we start doing damage, it's damage in chunks, and I think Surveil 1 is very valuable. But yeah, I would I like surveil one more. So not only not only is like the card selection good, but surveil, you know, can put a card into the graveyard and you know, so you can put an extra spell into the graveyard to help crackling dragon terramander and stuff like that also. Hmm. 
I don't know if I actually want that. I think I'm going to hold this land to be able to discard the Royal Zions. I don't I don't think we need that temple. Let's see, if I keep it, then we could have Royal Scions plus four mana. Four mana is kind of nice. All right, we'll play it. And temple, you know, gets us the scry here. So, yeah, now we're not drawing that island. I have a Dovin Architect of Law in the Azoria Circle deck that we're playing up next. No, not really. Not really feel, feeling sweet, fearing sweepers, but we'll see how. See if I get punished for it. G G. We'd better hope you delay our quest no further. Bravery galvanizes any plan. Couldn't quite do twenty. Oh no, we are doing twenty. Okay, good. That's what I was thinking. Okay, good. Oh no, but that's ten. No, we don't get to do the twenty. Uh, I should have plussed up on something else. So yeah, question is, why did my opponent scry out keep instead of playing a huge crisis? My assumption is they didn't have crisis in their hand, and that they they found crisis off of the scry. I don't think that if they had crisis in their hand, they would they would have done that. Reno, what are you doing? Stop being slow. Yeah, <laughs> exact lethal. We did have exact lethal there. Put him down to exactly zero. <laughs> I found exact lethal. With that first strike damage. Hello, Brazil. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep this. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty nice. We get some scrizzles to start with too. Get some more lands. Um I'm not sure. I'm gonna be I'm not sure your question on Amusha. I'm playing I'm playing the traditional constructed event today with my Tuesday Brewsday decks. Uh -huh. Thanks, Brazil. I love you, too. All right, here we go. Keep... Ooh, we're playing Feather. I'd assume, I'm assuming this Feather deck that we're playing against also has Blue and Teferi. I'm going to keep this in. It's just Sabotage for this turn. Hey, what's up, Rex? Good afternoon. No. No land.
So if I copy that, man, I kind of want to copy that. We have to discard one card. So, you know, just discard like my flame sweep. I don't want to copy that. I think there's 25 lands in the deck. No, 24. It means that I'm basically never going to be uh, using this Sinister Sabotage now. They could resolve it to Fairy. It would be bad for me. That wasn't so bad, though. Alright, so I assume that they're going to be using a Sweeper here. I could have just played Terramander and held up Sabotage instead, but I think they're just going to use a Sweeper and it's, it's fine. Whoa. No Sweeper. Now I just get double Counterspell? That's cool. Your opponent just dealt 20 damage to you in one turn. They had Doom Whisper, Cern Conrad, the Grim, and Enhanced Surveillance. <laughs> Surveilled the whole deck into the graveyard. Shuffled the graveyard into the deck. Did it again. Oh, uh, that's awesome. That sounds pretty sweet. All right, you still have infinite cards, whatever. Bond's quite the chemister. So I just need to draw a shock. It's easy enough. It's easy enough. All right, so just blue, white cards. I guess they had a little bit of red. Probably not a, enough red for me to gust. We'll play the fries also. <laughs> All 
Yeah, I mean, why why would you not draw the perfect card that you need? Just seems like the thing to do. All right, how's this look? Is it enough interaction? Should I like cut some kef nets for some more shocks? Like, should I play shock instead of kef net? Like, that's the only thing that I'm debating between is not not playing two kef net and maybe, maybe playing shock instead to kind of just lower the curve, not be bad against Teferi. So I have one shock right now. Maybe let's go two shock, one kef net. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm not really expecting this to be a Fires of Invention deck. I didn't keep Ether Gust um, because they had all the all that counter magic, you know, with like the vetoes and stuff, and all the chemistry's insight. Like those cards aren't as good with fires so not expecting fires of invention all right we're gonna lead with the cliffs so he said why is ether gust good because it doesn't it doesn't solve the problem it kind of does I mean it gets rid of the gets rid of the card now they get to draw it their very next turn. So it does make their next draw step good, but it still it still trades one for one with the card, but you're right, their the opponent's next draw step is very good. Um but Yeah, it's still it's still a good tempo play and everything, and especially with a deck like this with some flyers that can hit really hard. It can be a, a really nice tempo play, slowing them down. All right, so they are striking some justice. I want land, but I don't really want the, that tap land. Pretty greedy for me to put that card down to the bottom, though, to be honest. <laughs> you forgot about Terramander? Terramander's still really good. So it looks like they got Veto as well. Um, I think I just throw out this more expensive card. I could have just let it resolved and then fried. Sure, whatever. But then if I just let it resolve and fry, then, um... A mighty warrior, I concede. Then they would still get the minus. They didn't minus there because they wanted it to be difficult for me to kill the Narset. That was their thinking. Hmm. Fry doesn't always resolve. You can ether gust it. You can ether gust a fry. Or the target can be gone. 
before happen, so Fry doesn't have a target anymore, so it doesn't resolve. Hmm, nah, I shouldn't. Alright, fine, you go. Yeah, Lazotep plating. This is kind of like a weird stack. I could have just copied their Fate of Wishes. But then I let them have Fate of Wishes and I don't really have anything that great in my sideboard. you risk to beat me. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. Because the other one's going bye-bye. <sighs> Signs indicate that that hurt. You won fair and square. Exerves! All right, donation for a brew around the Naya Legends list. Okay, so when... Um, what day would you like me to be able to play that? Also, excerpts. And... Cool, I'll save this. I know you were telling me earlier, so yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. And cool, you got a lot of good description and stuff there for me also. Um, what what day and what time slot would you like? Okay, you're not picky? Okay. Alright, I have I have two other decks to make for tomorrow. If I have time and I can and you know if it works and everything, I'll make it tomorrow. So I'll try to have it for like the third slot tomorrow. If not the next day. I know eighty-eight ways I have. Yeah, I like I like that. That's I like those notes. Thanks for the notes there. For the help. I shall utterly is the best way to destroy things. Um It'd be really nice if I had seven mana and I could go Kefnet plus Sabotage. Kefnet is the anti-Justice Strike tech. I've gone through two, two Teferi so far. We'll play it. I don't know, I really consider just holding up Sabotage and not playing anything. 
Ugh. Gross. Gross. Okay, well they don't have the mana for manipulation right now, so that's good. Uh, but now they're going to get a counter spell back. Ugh. Hope it's not too hot for you. Guess I should have just held up sabotage. Can only steal two things. So doesn't look great for me. I don't think I have any fries left. So, if, yeah, if I don't pay, I could have um, counter magic so they can only steal two things and they get to explosion and copy it. Yeah, I'm just not going to win this. Ugh. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess I should have just not paid and then tried to counter, but then the explosion. I'm still just going to lose either way. Like, my best hope was that Narset found manipulation to, to have that back for the next turn. I think that was my best hope, but I'm not winning that from there. To be able to, they take stuff and then I untap and take stuff back. So a lot of justice strikes. Considering adding in the Kefnet back again. But I like our chances here. I think we'll I think we'll get this third game. I think that game was like a little odd how we just had like all of my red spells early. And I just couldn't really do anything. Because of that I had to wait for my opponent to do stuff and it gave them too much time. Oh the fries were awesome for us. I'm definitely not sideboarding out fry. And I don't, I don't have another manipulation to put into the deck. He said take out Fry to add mass manipulation. It's like it's not in the... There's not another manipulation in the deck. That's a good one, but I, I think I just need, need to just dig for lands. Right on schedule. I've got it. 
put thoughtfulness before action. Well, this has worked out pretty well for them. Oh, come on. <sighs> I won't forget our time together. Knowledge is the greatest virtue. Mm, a quest of mystery. Teferi basically makes the Kefnet unplayable. Let's try this. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Hey, Pitch. Good evening. Let's get toasty. Must be nice. Bye-bye! This might be a bad idea. Well, they got one emblem. They can minus one the Chandra to kill the, the Terramander, which I wouldn't mind, because that would get rid of the Chandra. No. Nope. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? That game worked very well for them. I was pretty confident we we're going to be winning that game three, honestly. You know, going in during sideboarding. But cards lined up for them. Oh well. Ugh. Hey, farmer. Yeah, it's Kefnet's huge weakness is is definitely Teferi. So you can't cast stuff off the the trigger, and obviously the bounce. It's so I only had one Kefnet in my deck. It's why I sideboarded one out because it's so bad against Teferi. All right, new game. Hey, Fred, doing good? No, I already did the Artisan event. I, I played Mono Blue. Um, I'm not going to be doing the artisan event on on stream so this either gust looks like a dead card yeah it's looking pretty dead So we're going to hopefully get a blue source to drop Crackling Drake. Nope. I will 
steady your mind, Rowan. And I will inspire That's why Royal Scion's pretty good. If you have a dead card, you can get rid of it. The negates aren't looking too hot either. So this Royal Scion is really nice to start filtering through my draws here. And they still don't have anything to play. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. I'm just going to keep this other negate available. I don't know what they got going on over here. Like it looks like a, you know, like a, a blue white flyers. But a blue white flyers deck should be able to play a lot of cards with four mana. You would think. All right, so I'll just play Terramander with Sabotage back up. To know is to triumph. <laughs> the opponent's hand is four Safara and land. Well, they miss land drops. So it's not just all, not just a ton of land. <laughs> Reloaded. Love the stream. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I mean, I guess I could ultimate. It's kind of a waste, though. Like, we have too many cards already. Yeah, I could have, like, Rally of Wings. Yeah, Unbreakable Formations, Rally of Wings, and Safaras. That's their whole hand. That'd be a pretty poor hand. Take Vengeance. Don't take Vengeance on the Terramander. Just a little Salamander Drake. And by little, I mean a 5 5. Like Baneslayer Angel. Little. Bow to the mine's rain. And the heart That's so much burn. damage. So I could I could flame sweep to kill all to kill it also, but now going with the shock I can have sabotage plus negate back up. Alright, well, this looks like a match built for Fry. And Flame Sweep. I don't even know what they got going on. It's this is not looking like the best deck that we're playing against here. Eh, they deserved it. They wanted to kill the the wee salamander. Um, I need to get rid of one of these cards. I don't know. Do I really need three fry and four lava coil? Probably not. I'll take out a coil. Yeah, I think it's a newer player playing main phase. Um... Spectral Sailors and just Angel of Vitality, Take Vengeance. It looks just like a new player. Um, so, best of luck to them in the future. 
Oh, hey. It's a Bantech. That could be why my opponent wasn't playing stuff. What if Ether Gust actually would be awesome? That's probably why they weren't playing things. I should probably just cast Opt first and then play Temple. Yeah. Yeah, well, they just played Oko here. And just wrecked me with Oko. So Oko would have definitely wrecked me. So it's good to have uh, spells in my graveyard for Terramander. That is the cheapest of spells right there with the opt. It seems we've encountered another puzzle on our quest. My answers lie in the cold truth. I'm going to keep this swift water cliffs so I can play the land drop next turn and have sabotage available. That eagle's pretty good. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I think so. To know is to triumph. I probably don't need a backup scions. I mean, this could be my opponent's, like, it's possible my opponent thought that they were playing in the, um, the event where you can only play commons and uncommons. I need a hand, Will. Nah, that's, that's probably not true. Hmm. What is my strategy here? I don't know, do something. Really is a waste of a sabotage, to be honest. Card's not threatening. More spells in the graveyard, better for these Terramanders, though. <laughs> you have the heart of a coward. Wow. Real insults over here. My answers lie in the cold truth. I like being able to scry before Kefnet. It's also going to be the name of my new band, Scribe Before Kefnet. It does sound like a band name. Three damage isn't that important. If I attack though, and if they if they have rally of wings, that could have been a huge bummer. Kefnet really is the pacifist, so I don't mind that. Fear triumphs this day. Reveal. Ooh, good form. Get that card. I 
All right, so yeah, we want to get rid of these sailors. No, don't take vengeance on my Terramander. I guess they're taking vengeance for these sailors getting exiled. Maybe my opponent is a fan of AWOL Nation. That's They don't want those sailors to go anywhere. Hey, we have a new sub, Jacob. What's up, Jacob? Thank you so much. Speaking of sailing, everybody's getting their hype boats in there. <laughs> yeah, that was a yeah, that was a little bit of a stretch, I admit. But it's it's good to stretch though. I should have revealed the negate. That was my bad. Should always reveal. All right. We gotta adapt. What? It's not letting me adapt. Ugh. All right, three and one. You got rocked by the Mono Blue Dredge deck. I'm guessing they had Drown Secrets. Because there's no secret to how good that card is. How important that card is to that deck. Hmm. So they had they had green mana for some trees. Because the flyers need some trees as a place to perch. I like that. Your opponent goes first. I do not like that. Perched at the end of your fork? Wow. Please no Oko, please no Oko, please no Oko. Yay! Alright, now you can play Oko. I will not sabotage any Oko plans at all. Don't mind me. See, great use of temple. Waiting on the temple. Then we knew that we needed to, or like that we didn't need that land anymore, but if we would have had that temple earlier, I probably would have kept the land. Hmm. <laughs> Current metagame summarized. Please no Oko. I know, right?
Hey, Rochin, doing great. Pets are doing great. Yep, everything's doing good. Five? But, uh, but why five? Hmm. Do I double coil? Rewarded. Well, that was, I was rewarded for like every decision that I made that game. Like, every decision I made like worked out well, you know, like leading with the swift water cliffs. That temple was a lot more valuable later on. Um, holding, you know, having the negate for the second Nissa. Not going double coil, getting the threat out first. Just everything was rewarded. So that was cool. Yeah, you could play. Yeah, you could definitely play Niv Mizza instead of Kefnet. You don't have Kefnet, absolutely. You could go Niv Mizzet. You could go Ral. Is it Viceroy? I think Ral Ral would work very well in the deck. Um, arguably better than Kefnet. Like probably better than Kefnet. Um, yeah, Ral's another good option. Niv Mizzet's a little harder to cast, like reliably and everything. I think I would prefer Ral. Um, another card is Cavalier of Gales. It's another option. Yeah, I had two gusts in the main. We're putting two more in. Um, We got to kill one more card. I'll just take out an opt because I don't really know what to take out. Uh, brazen borrower You're looking for something else besides besides those brazen borrower is another uh, very solid option hey quilteen Yeah, Teamer Extinction was fun. So I chose the Goose over the Druid because... Um,
with how they missed the land drop, I kind of thought that if, it, if I put Druid back, I think they're going to put Druid on top and just replay Druid this next turn. But if I put Goose back, there's a chance that they just let the Goose go and don't uh, replay it at all. Where I don't think there was really that chance. One mana cards are good. I had three one mana cards, my opponent had two one mana cards. There's Drew a card. Uh, why didn't I play Terramander on turn one? Because I needed to have Mystical Dispute for Oko. The Paradise Druid's been the only card that hasn't cost one mana. <laughs> oh no, the Ether Gust also. really like to draw land here. I'm sure my opponent's been saying the same thing, though. Yay. It's not the best land because of the Crackling Drakes, but it'll do. We've gotten rid of... Th We've gone triple stone rain with the Paradise Druid and the two geese. Put the other geese down, goose down at the bottom. Ugh. Now suddenly they have lots of mana. I probably could have Ether Gusted the Goose and they put it down to the bottom again. I was going to say, please play Veil somewhere.
It's not bad. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it though, and maybe it's just better to put it in the, the graveyard to help pump these drakes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Veil Summer is such a, a pushed card. We have fought through, you know, two Veil Summers in a dispute so far. Hey Storm, doing good. Power surges through these lands. Harness the elements. So just have green mana up where they could sack. They could sack this thing to gain three life, but that's not going to save them. So we're going to be able to kill both their blockers. There we go. GG's. And we're on to the final boss. We're four and one. On to the final boss. With is it Drake's? That's a that's a pretty big win there, beating um, blue green food. Oh yeah, final boss playlist. Haven't had the final boss playlist in a little while. <laughs> yeah. I I haven't seen you playing Drakes for a while, Storm, but I know they're your favorite. You're thinking about selling your Sultai deck for an Is It one? Rose, I do agree. Rosans is is very cool. Um, That may not be a bad place to be if something or multiple things get banned on the 18th. We just don't know. Oh, duh. They're just going to save this. That was really bad by me. I should have waited. That was really bad. Yeah, that was just really bad. Yeah, I just kind of forgot about Shepard there for a minute. Bad play. I just untap, have shock plus negate. All right, gonna try to race.
How do we race a three mana five five? Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake can do it. Crackling Drake can be even bigger. You know, we got our Crackling Drake in play first before the Lovestruck Beast. Huh. That thing's hard to negate to raise. We're gonna have to negate that. So can I have a lethal next turn? That's nine. 10, 11, nope, they're at 13. Like a perfect draw. I hope they don't have it like unbreakable formation. I'm I'm waiting on like the flame sweep because they are certainly incentivized to get a one one into play for the love struck beast. And so then like they get a one one and then go to combat and then I flame sweep and kill the one one and kill these things. That's my plan. Yeah, right now the beast can't swing, so like they have to do something. Huh. They'd rather keep the beast available? What's what's that tapping all about? And why why are they taking Terramander when Crackling Drake just hits harder? It's gotta be just like another Conclave Tribunal, right? Yeah, double Conclave would do it, but I couldn't stop double Conclave Tribunal anyway. Um, well, I can stop that. <laughs> Love Struck B says, I'm sorry, Bell. You're too buff for me now. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> you're not a 1-1. A one -one. You're now a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. So I got that one. Um, What do we want to do sideboard-wise? Flame Sweep and Chandra seem like pretty good things. I'm not sure, like, <clears throat> Ether Gust, Negate, Sabotage, Kefnet, Expansion. Those are all cards that I don't love. Lovestruck Beast is a problem, though. Uh, you know, Fry doesn't kill it. I 
I'm get rid of one, one negate, one sabotage, and I think the expansion. I guess they're playing all these, all of those one twos. Maybe negates better. All right, out with a coil, in with a negate. Here we go. Fry's better than Ether Gust. I feel like they have more green stuff than white stuff. Yeah, hopefully with the four flame sweeps, we can just kind of take out the tokens and not be as worried about the beasts. Well, this hand could definitely lose. And this this is like the main thing that I gotta kill too. Man, I wish we could. I wish I could. Um, you know, they play they play a flower to to search their library, and then I ether gust something back on top of their library in response to the flower. Wish we have that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't uh, play into the Shepherd again. Take the three for one. It's really a three for zero. Or let's see, it's really a two for one, not a three for one, because the the fairy guide mother just replaced itself. So it's not really like killing the guide mother. It's basically a two for one. I could like try to you know kill the shepherd, let them untap, and I kill whatever they play, and then land crackling Drake. Like this gives them. Okay, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say it gives them like the mana for, um, for Conclave Tribunal. It's not a great card to have on top with a Kefnet. But it's a good card to have access to. So I guess I just play this thing instead of playing Kefnet. So why was I leading with Drake over Kefnet? So that Drake could help me hit land drops by drawing more cards because I don't have lands.
I'm willing to take the hit for five here. I think we can go to nine safely enough. I... <clears throat> I don't really want to see Venerate Luxodon too much. My card's fair. Okay, well... So, two, four, all right, so this is seven damage right now, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. I don't think I can win this turn. Opt and pray for shock. It's not very likely that we hit another shock. I'm going to just go for the win next turn. I'm going to set this up so like 14 damage next turn shouldn't be too hard. And I like casting the opt here where I can like maybe hit a flame sweep or something like that. You know, hit a spell off of Kefnet here with this opt. I want to kind of, you know, kind of have the surprise lethal. Uh, Terramander. They're taking a lot of damage. We found exact lethal again. Is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the exact lethal. Fear is a tool. Use it. So you got him to zero. Exact lethal. <laughs> okay, well, is it Drake's was pretty sweet. That's a 5 1 league. Uh, we did play against like two beginner decks. Um, but then we also did play against um, three very good decks. 
for sure. We went two and one in those, and I don't I don't remember what the sixth deck, what that one was. Oh, that was like well, we played a bant, a bant flash, which was respectable. Um, so we played f against four very good or respectable decks and went three one in those, including we beat our Simic opponent and beat Selesnya Adventures. Some very good decks there. Yeah, so we lost to the Jeskai Control in a, a matchup I thought we were going to win, but it um, it went really well for our opponent. Um, you're welcome, Douster. Nope, so no no niv it at all. Um, you know, got 24 lands and kind of low curve here with just topping out at four. <clears throat> and it played really well. Terramander is awesome. Crackling Drake's awesome. Flame Sweep was really good in some matches. For sure. Oko, I mean, Oko's going to be a problem. Like, the, the match that we played against Simic, they never cast Oko. And we won 2-0, and that was awesome. But Oko is going to be a problem for this deck. But it's the best card in the format for a reason. You know, it's a problem for decks to beat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a 100% foil deck if it wasn't for Expansion Explosion. Yep, that's the only card. But, of course, this one doesn't have a card style with it being the split card like that. Everything else does. So it's a, it was a, a good deck to look at also while we played. <clears throat> All right. Um, oh, they did cast it once and we countered it? Okay, so never mind. They did cast it once. Um, all right, uh, that's as it Drake's though. Um, yeah, played it, played it pretty well. And Terramander and Crackling Drake are still just, I think they're kind of underrated cards, honestly. People forget about them. Anyway, we should move on to our next deck there. It's a nice two hour league. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of Is It Drake's. But that's it here for. Is it Drake's? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.